up guys, Dominic here with a review of the Mat Keeper application. This has got to be the best uh, Mac um, program out there for uh, for just keeping your Mac in line and uh, for anti-theft as well. Um, I have used Clean My Mac, which is good. Uh, it's good and quick uh, and scans quite quick, but this, you really just can't beat this, uh, this application. Um, if you look here on the left, uh, you have the status of uh, your Mac as it is uh, with security and the data and so on, what it's cleaned, uh, what it's optimized and so on. Um, with a one-click scan, you can click here, it'll scan everything. Uh, so under cleaners you have the binary cutter, which uh, the core of every application contains two parts. Uh, making it possible to run the application under both the new Intel and old PowerPC architectures, regardless of uh, which platform your Mac is using. So only one of the uh, uh, the parts is being used, the other one is, is just wasting disk space, so it can be removed with this uh, binary cutter, uh, which is really cool. That, that saves you about half of each uh, application that can run on both. So the cache cleaner uh, is pretty self-explanatory. Um, but uh, for those of you who don't know uh, what cache is, uh, a computer to access specific data faster uh, will uh, copy the original files and data into areas where they can be loaded easier, putting them all together so that they can get it much faster. Uh, it's called caching and uh, it can help your computer run a bit faster but over time uh, the, this process will, will waste more and more drive space uh, and so removing these old cached files will free up a lot of space if you have a lot of caching. So here you can see just some of the stuff that uh, has been cached and I just cleaned my cache, so just to give you an idea. Um, then the duplicates finder finds duplicates. Uh, I just deleted all my duplicates so it shouldn't find any. I will scan though. Uh, but basically it uh, will show you all the duplicates but not like in iTunes where it'll show you the duplicates and their the f original, so the original and any duplicates, uh, this duplicate finder will only show you the duplicates and then you can easily remove all of them. Uh, the language cutter, uh, most applications come with a huge number of different interface languages that also waste disk space because you don't need uh, every program on your computer to have Portuguese, Spanish, French, uh, German and all these other languages. You only need it in English or whatever your language you speak. Uh, so this language cutter would delete the, uh, the other languages for that and uh, save you space. Uh, the logs cleaner, lots of applications create log files that uh, store usage history for statistical and other purposes, but these files uh, tend to pile up on your hard drive and uh, this utility will remove log files and free up space that they occupy without any harm to any uh, application's performance. So uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, it's just logs. So the old file finders uh, will uh, search for files that have uh, not been used recently that uh, can be used for, uh, you can use this to, to delete old unnecessary files uh, and retrieving old files that you haven't been able to uh, find for a long time. So uh, and then you have some tools here too. Uh, backup, you can uh, create automatic backups much like Time Machine. Uh, the data encryptor uh, is a tool that will secure any private data. Uh, you can fully encrypt, encrypt excuse me, uh, any file, uh, uh, any data to, to uh, protect it from unauthorized access. Um, the default apps, uh, this is uh, when you uh, download new applications, they often change your file association. Uh, as a result, you have to uh, select the right application each time you want to run a file. And this tool easily associates files with the uh, applications that open those files by default. So disk usage, this just shows you what's using disk space on your computer. And uh, it can find and delete empty folders on your Mac too, which is really cool. Uh, login items, uh, this is just showing uh, what uh, is opening on login and uh, to be able to disable it. Um, it's pretty cool. Shredder, this is a really cool uh, tool. Uh, you use this to dispose of your uh, confidential files uh, once and for all. It, it's literally shredding uh, and, and eliminating any possibility of files being recovered. So if you uh, <laughs> might need the file eventually, don't use this. But other than that, 
you can uh, drop it in here and it's gone. Wipe from your hard drive completely, no uh, trace of it, unless it's of course in backups. The undeleter, unless you've used the shredder, you can uh, select the volume, the volume, excuse me, of uh, where you had the file, and uh, you can scan it, and it'll show you all the files that you deleted that you put in your empty, in your trash, and then emptied, and uh, not secure empty trash, but only regular empty trash. Uh, which basically just shows you that you have more disk space and eventually overwrites it. But with this, it will pull that file back. So it will undelete it, essentially. Um, so, uh, and then we have Wise Uninstaller. Uh, this is a tool that, to let you completely remove applications, widgets, uh, preference panes, and uh, uh, plugins. So you can um, delete applications not just by putting them in the trash and deleting them, but really uh, deleting everything that they're linked to as well. And then uh, last thing here, they have services. Uh, you have an anti-theft service uh, where if your Mac is stolen, uh, this basically keeps track of what IP address your Mac is on, even when you don't have this app open. And uh, you can log in online, you have to sign up. I do believe it's free, but you log in online and then, uh, and then you, when if your Mac is stolen, particularly if you have a, a, a mobile Mac, a laptop, or, or so, you can use this uh, to help the police find your stolen Mac. Uh, so yeah, and then Geek on Demand. Uh, if you have any problems or questions regarding your Mac, not just this program, but your Mac, uh, you use this program uh, or this service, I guess. Uh, to contact a qualified specialist. Uh, no matter what the cause of your problem, whether it's software or hardware related, their experts uh, will provide professional help and advice on, on anything you need to know. And so you, again, you log in and you can, uh, or sign up I should say, and you uh, tell them when they should call you, when it's best for you, and they'll call you at that time and then you can ask them their questions. And then last you have ZeoDisk, but they are still working on it. So. Um, but it's an online, uh, it's, it's a service with three gigabytes of online storage space. So you can instantly access data from any uh, corner of the world, essentially. Uh, fast and easily file share with, uh, with people and giving them your login or whatever. And uh, it's very efficient file recovery. So, so that is the uh, review of the Mac Keeper. It, this is really the best uh, uh, Keeper program for Mac. I, re I really love this program. Uh, it will run you about $39, I believe, $39.99 or so, but uh, that's really nothing for, for what you get in this program. I, um, I can definitely recommend it to anybody, and, and uh, it's really a cool program. So thanks, guys, for watching, and I uh, hope to catch you in the next video. Please subscribe. See you.